At the end, I dial in the occlusion and also smooth out any rough areas along the lingual margins with a fine grit diamond burr. The outcome provided a great aesthetic improvement that I think fits the patient really well. Once the overall contours and aesthetics are set, I dial in the proximal and occlusal contacts and then begin milling the restorations out of Obsidian CAD Bleach 4 blocks. Now at our delivery appointment the following day, I use crown removal forceps to carefully break away the tent material and then use an ultrasonic scaler to clean the preps. I try in the Obsidian CAD lithium silicate veneers with Kerr NX3 clear try-in paste to evaluate the final aesthetics. Once everything checks off, we'll proceed with preparing the restorations for bonding. Here we're using a product from Avaclar called Monobon Etch and Prime, which is a single component ceramic primer that etches and silenates glass ceramics in one step. It's scrubbed in and allowed to react for 60 seconds where the ammonium polyfluoride etches the ceramic and after rinsing the solution away, a silane layer remains. Pretty cool stuff. Now it's time to prep the teeth. I always use a total etch or etch and rinse protocol. I apply phosphoric acid to the entire tooth surface for about 20 seconds and then rinse away. This to me is still the best way to establish a strong bond to tooth structure. I apply Gluma desensitizer and let it sit for at least a minute and suction away any excess. I then scrub in Kerr OptiBond Universal Bonding Agent into the preps and suction away the excess while I air thin it. We deliver these veneers with Kerr NX3 Light Cure Cement so I can seat all of the restorations down at the same time. I apply lingual and apical pressure using bite sticks while my assistant tack cures each veneer down. After tack curing, I remove as much excess cement with a scaler and explorer and then floss through the contact areas before the final cure. At the end, I dial in the occlusion and also smooth out any rough areas along the lingual margins with a fine grit diamond burr. The outcome provided a great aesthetic improvement that I think fits the patient really well. Each restoration takes about 15 minutes to mill and then requires a crystallization cycle in the final stage porcelain oven for 25 minutes.